two broke rednecks present. So there's a textbook based on this film? So if your child did not develop this way, it's your fault they're gay. This film had a lot of development. In other words, oppress your gay children and force them to conform to the norms of straight children. No, when people accept their children as they are, then maybe the world will be a better place. Is this test footage for the wedding scene from Rocky Horror? Today is a high point in the romance of Bob and Mary. I like the low point before Bob caught Insight. They got an oriental for a photographer. I told you these people were below us. It's true that the marriage will succeed because it's based on many things. Companionship, mutual interests, shared ambitions. And the fact Mary's knocked up. Quality ...which we call love. And part of this love is their relationship to one another. Sounds like their relationship is stormy already. Good sex adjustment began when she was a very small child. Where is the baby, Mommy? Why won't it come? It's right here, dear. Oh my God, she Why ate the baby. Yet, or cry, or even eat by itself. It has to stay inside me till it's big and strong enough to be born. When it comes, Mommy, can I help to take care of it? By trying to flush it down the toilet? The idea of childbirth was made natural and normal for Mary. She was happy... There's no point in getting the bassinet ready just yet. The kid's not going to be born for some time. Bob's mother was a widow. Because Bob's mom caught his dad cheating on her. She should have a proper knowledge of sex from the beginning. She answered all his questions. If no questions came, she arranged situations so that he became conscious of sex. Oh boy, I can't wait to toss these in the river in a sack. When he was little, Bob and his mother were always together. So it came at no surprise when Bob became a crossdresser. As he grew older, she made sure that he played with other children, both boys and girls. But was convinced he was a closet case. She was pleased and proud that he seemed to fit in well with the boys. Till she caught him naked with one. Then he actually scoffed at playing with girls. And preferred putting on a dress because he wanted Mary to feel pretty. had a normal childhood with many friends of both sexes. She was taught to be a submissive. But as the time for Mary's first menstrual period approached, her mother would begin to shout unclean at Mary. That would take place, instead of leaving her to pick up odd bits of startling and inaccurate... So she showed her a picture of a shark's brain and taught her how to be a bitch. Her mother got along well. They had their occasional quarrels, but in general, home life was pleasant, natural, and secure. For they never told Mary about their double life as cat burglars. At about 11, Mary went through a sort of reversal. She didn't talk much. Because she was huffing paint. Just daydreaming. What's the matter with her? Well, she's just growing up, dear. Are we still going after the museum's gems? Well, hadn't you better have a talk with her? Well, yes, dear, but I don't think this is the time. She needs an hour well, or so to, to masturbate. Well, I'll try to be ready with the answers. Mary's mother tried to discuss sex without embarrassment and to give Mary facts without prejudice or any suggestion of fear or shame. She knew she had gone too far when she told her about swinging naked and from the ceiling fan. Time, Mary reached puberty. Around this time, she found that her friends wanted to talk about sex. Let's talk about sex, baby. <laughs> Some of them got most of their information from off-color jokes that they really didn't understand. But you don't always have a baby when you go over time. I read in a book that you don't have a baby. Some of them learned about sex from books. The most but learned so from experimentation. Did, you know. did you, um, marry your first cousin? Did you have a deformed baby? Yes, you nasty bitch. I mean about having babies. Are you afraid of having a baby, Mary? No, I'm not. I get off on pain. I've been having babies for 
for thousands of years. And nowadays, doctors have so many ways of making it safe. Like security guards to protect the father from angry families. Sex life held no fears. Sex was not something sinister to be whispered about, but it was a natural function which could contribute to the ultimate happiness of home and a family. Boy, did she have it wrong. About this time, Mary developed a sudden strong friendship with Lucille Williams. Lucille was known as a peculiar girl. With anybody, they had absolutely no secrets from each other. They were inseparable. In fact, they were a little too close. To Mary's mother, it seemed unnatural, this continual intimacy, this concentration of affection on one not very unusual girl. For Mary's mother feared Mary was a lesbian. Ethel, we forgot about Ethel. We forgot about asshole. Bringer, you know what she's like with boys and everything. Mary, darling, you're keeping Lucille from her dinner. Oh, I was just leaving Mrs. Gibbs. Well, bye. And don't come back. Mother forgets the devotion she had for her own girlfriend about 25 years ago. When she was in college, trying new things. Next, there was a crush on Ethel Hampton, senior girls' tennis champion. Crush on athletic women, close to one girl? My God, Mary is a lesbian! ...stage from the antagonism toward boys just before puberty to the next stage of falling in love with a boy. She acts like she'll fall in love with a girl. ...that stage. Stop him before he breaks Al Bundy's record. Her next crush was on the captain of a school football team. Her name was Candy. I want you to know I'm ovulating. Dear Bark Rednecks, we don't make bad movies, we make bad movies better.